as uh, to find out the solutions of the problems we have to discuss about uh, the disease problem and also disease uh, system problem so my talk is about more system problem so to find out the to assess the problem there are a surveillance system there then we have to notify the in time and then we need the response the the uh, the objective of all these activities are the to get the objectives of the to uh, get the objective of response <laughs> So dengue fever in Pakistan is endemic with seasonal rise in cases. Recently, the transmission of dengue fever has recently the transmission of dengue fever has intensified in the country with increased incidence and geographical expansion. Sporadic cases are being reported from the all provinces there are uh, four provinces so there are 80% uh, cases from punjab but in all from all uh, cases uh, from all provinces cases are being reported so at national level we have developed a strategy that is to surveillance initially the surveillance then case management vector control and this is the um, national strategy followed by the who as per WHO strategy. Surveillance is the systematic collection, analysis, and interpretation of notifiable diseases closely integrated with the timely dissemination data to those responsible for preventing and controlling the disease. Notification of the communicable diseases supports the surveillance at both a local and national level. So by the by this surveillance we by after surveillance and uh, by notification we have collected this data and uh, the 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 problem in this data is that up to 212 2011 this is the published data by the world health organization by the government of pakistan and after 12 this is still under process and the, it is not approachable by the scientists and by other peoples that it may be uh, so it is delayed notification delayed uh, one cannot take action and cannot give the response accordingly due to this delayed notification so this is the basically issue uh, there so the notification hierarchy in pakistan is the first level flcf the lowest level fs first level care facility from basic health unit where medical officers are working rural health center tehsil and head, dhq headquarter hospital and tertiary care hospital they notify the 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 clinical and lab confirmed case to the district health officer and district health officer is supposed to give the response and take the action at the grassroots level to the the hospital are supposed to take to, for the case management immediately and and district officer are supposed to take to give the response at the locality at the home and after taking giving the response at the grassroots level where, uh, conducting the epidemiological and entomological activities find out the new cases and find out the density of the adult and the larval density of the vectors and uh, give the response uh, preventive measures and uh, sprays and all uh, interventions to the at the required level and also take the uh, awareness create the awareness among the uh, the look uh, in the people to avoid the mosquito bite so this is this response is supposed to be taken by the district health officer but uh, it is uh, hard luck that uh, we could not get the response in time when a case is notified and then 
uh, as per international health regulations and protocol, we have to take the action within 48 hours. We have to reach in the grassroots level and to protect the community from where that dengue positive case has been reported, maybe taken the all preventive and promotive actions, interventions in the grass, grassroots level that is not being taken, that is not being, response is not being given in time. In, in, in the other countries maybe, but in Pakistan it, it has been noted and that, that is more than two weeks. So that is the basic challenge, I think. There are many other challenges to control the disease, but this is the basic challenge, I think, to notify in time, to give the response in time, and if we will give the response as per protocol, as per advice and uh, uh, guidelines of the World Health Organizations and our uh, universities, uh, scientists, the, to give the response within 48 hours, 72 hours maximum, then I think we, our other all efforts could be more fruitful. Organization of disease surveillance, we, we have a national guidelines, obligatory, we have obligatory notifications, all stakeholders have to should have the guidelines for surveillance and obligatory notification of the suspected and confirmed cases of the dengue, including in the private sector. Laboratory confirmation, 100% confirmation of the laboratory required uh, to notify the case. Data transmission, we have the electronic system uh, in Punjab in one province only and we are working to uh, spread it to introduce in all the other provinces. Paper-based and partly electronic system is available in other all provinces. Data analysis, a uh, sub-national uh, means uh, provincial level and national level data is being analyzed. Case classification is always uh, uh, observed as per WHO classification, active surveillance, in sentinel sites only during the outbreaks uh, use of alert signals is given by the national institute of the health a routine ev uh, evaluation of the surveillance system is not available it is required this is also a challenge to uh, to evaluate the work uh, every year or biannual like uh, to assess the uh, efficacy of the system Organization of the entomological surveillance, including the community involvement, larval survey, and outbreak alert conducted in all districts, routine vector control by fogging, IRS, and all integrated uh, um, management of the vector control and social mobilization activities are also being done. Epidemic preparedness and outbreak response uh, plans the all districts with varying quality and details uh, and outbreak response com committee has been defined and notified in all districts. Uh, outbreak definition used by the weekly case above in historical means are moving the average. Delay of the outbreak response difficult, difficult to assess the due to lack of the cooperation. This is a common thing. Epidemic preparedness of the outbreak Time lag seems to be usually above two weeks, but often much longer. Alert signals and early response signals used entomological indices, increased uh, virus positivity rate, change of serotypes, increased case numbers, increased number of fever cases, increased population uh, movement, information on the several signals is collected in some time, but not used for early response because of the uncertainty about the validity of the triggers. Budget limitations, staff of shortage of the human resource and delay in analysis are the major challenges, major problems which uh, increase the overall challenge. Epidemic preparedness, uh, successful response activities uh, to a certain extent, satisfactory vector control system is available 
improved clinical management is available in our uh, tertiary care level hospitals, uh, improved coordination, intra and intersectoral and better information system, N need to improve the information system. Room to improve is uh, we need uh, to improve the planning, trainings and involvement of the local staff, enhanced community participation, faster solution of the budget constraints and better cooperation among the stakeholders and international agencies. Coping with the dengue outbreak in hospitals, we have a positive experience, epidemic response plans and establish, establishing special dengue treatment units stock out management system getting all all systems are in place in hospitals to um, meet the outbreak thank you very much thank you very much.